It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Wednesday, the 16th of December. I'm Michael Groff. Dry conditions, temperatures pretty close to seasonal averages for the next several days. Weather systems will pass north of Arizona during the time, bringing us periods of clouds. But that's about it. And the weather looks to stay fairly tranquil all the way through Christmas. We'll talk about it first yesterday in the valley, 62 degrees the afternoon high, 39 that chilly morning low. The normal high, 66, the normal low, 44. Outside now here at 525 a.m., we've got clear sky out there, and we're sitting at 42 degrees at Sky Harbor. Dew points at 28, relative humidity 57%. Wind from the south-southeast at 5, and the barometer is rising. Temperatures this morning rather cool, but not all that out of bounds for mid-December. 28, the cool spot at Goldfield, 30 at Fort McDowell, 32 in Gilbert, 34 in Chandler, 35 Tempe, 36 Litchfield. Upper 30s to mid 40s for most of the rest of the metro. The upper air look shows a dry, cool northwesterly flow continuing here, but ridging is building in, and that's going to help temperatures warm up ever so slightly over the next few days. And look at that trough making a beeline for the eastern half of the country, and that's where most of the weather will be today. A major winter storm cranking up for the east coast. Look at that. The winter storm warnings from the Virginias up through Pennsylvania, New York, and eastward over into Connecticut and Massachusetts. And check out some of these snow totals coming off of the National Digital Forecast Database. Uh, we're talking some spots could see close to 20 inches of snow before it's all said and done. Philadelphia up toward New York City, at least 15 inches of snow there, about 9.5 inches for Boston. And of course, uh, those snow drifts will be piling up as well, the first major winter storm of the season. The convective outlook for today, we've got a risk of severe storms for eastern North Carolina and a marginal risk as well for the nature coast of Florida all the way down to Tampa Bay. And the precipitation outlook, valid through next Wednesday morning from the WPC. No rain in the valley, basically nothing statewide. As I mentioned, a dry weather pattern continues for most of us. And we'll detail it as we dive into modeling. Here we go, the GFS, the 06Z run valid at 2 o'clock this afternoon. Ridging building in here across the southwest, a northwesterly flow in place, and a major winter storm for the east. So down at the surface today, yeah, look at that. All that snow piling up there with that surface low over eastern North Carolina. But for us, we'd love to see some rain. Not going to happen. Sunny sky, high temperatures this afternoon, mid-60s. Tonight, we're clear and seasonably cool. Overnight lows generally in the mid-30s to low-40s. And then tomorrow, a weather system approaches us from the north and west. But as has been the case with many of these features, it is moving over land, and so it's not going to draw in a lot of Pacific moisture. All of the dynamic support for this feature stays to the north of us, so that's where the precipitation will be. Although I guess there could be an isolated rain or snow shower for northern Arizona up around the Four Corners. But for the valley, just an increase in clouds. Partly cloudy in the morning, mostly cloudy in the afternoon, and high temperatures again in the mid-60s with a light breeze. On Friday, that system moves east of us, high temperatures still in the mid-60s. The weekend looks perfect. A few clouds, otherwise mostly sunny each day. High temperatures should be in the mid-60s on Saturday, upper 60s to about 70 on Sunday. And then as we get to next week, Monday looks pretty nice too. Highs, upper 60s and low 70s, pretty much the same deal on Tuesday with partly cloudy sky. Although a system is again approaching us from the north and west, but just like the previous systems, most of the dynamic support stays to the north of us. Uh, the trailing end of a cold front could push through here as we go to a week from today. This is Wednesday, the 23rd. And so that could bring about somewhat cooler temperatures and maybe an increase in clouds. An isolated rain or snow shower, again, up by the Four Corners or over in the Eastern Mountains. But that's about it, at least at this point. We'll see how the model trends play out going forward. Here's Thursday, the 24th. It's Christmas Eve. We've got high pressure building in from the west. That looks fairly mild. High temperatures back to around or maybe even a little bit above average. And then here we go out 10 days. This is Christmas Day, Friday the 25th. And again, that looks dry and mild. All right, uh, precipitation for the next couple of weeks off of the European Ensemble. This runs through the 30th. And the Ensemble mean, yeah, basically nothing. Uh, no significant chances of precipitation. It looks like we will close out 2020 with no additional rainfall here in Phoenix. Of course, we'll keep you posted if that changes. And temperatures off the national blend of models. It's got us at 64 today, 67 tomorrow, and then more or less mid-60s to low 70s every day for, well, all the way through Christmas and beyond. Overnight lows in the 40s for the mid-city, mostly in the mid and upper 30s for our outlying areas. 
And that's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video back here tomorrow morning. If you enjoy these videos, be sure to subscribe, like, share, and click that notification bell so that whenever a brand new video is posted, you'll get the notice. Your comments, questions, and suggestions always encouraged as well. Thanks so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. You guys be safe out there and have yourselves a fantastic Wednesday.